Marines hand over relief efforts in the Philippines. We remember Pearl Harbor and how you can skip long lines at the airport this holiday season. All of that coming up next on The Core Report. Welcome to The Core Report. I'm Lance Corporal Clayton Filipovich. And I'm Lance Corporal Ali Beiswanger. On December 1st, the U.S. Pacific Command disestablished the task force assigned to provide aid in the Philippines. More than 13,400 military personnel, as well as 66 aircraft assigned to Joint Task Force 505, were responsible for delivering food, water, and supplies to victims of Typhoon Haiyan. The task force delivered more than 4.9 million pounds of relief supplies and evacuated over 21,000 people to safety. Since the unique capabilities of the U.S. military are no longer needed, the reins will be handed to relief organizations like the U.S. Agency for International Development in the Armed Forces of the Philippines. In the early morning hours of December 7, 1941, the Empire of Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. By the end of that day, over 2,000 American lives were lost. This attack launched the United States into World War II against Japan as well as Nazi Germany. President Roosevelt referred to the attack as a date which will live in infamy. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. We remember those who lost their lives in the attack, as well as the brave men and women who fought to put an end to the tyranny in Japan and Europe. If you're traveling this holiday season, skip the long security lines at the airport using the improved pre-check program for service members. The program now allows reserve and active duty service members to keep on shoes, light outerwear, and belts during security screening, in addition to keeping laptops and approved liquids in their carry-on luggage. To participate, service members must enter their DOD ID number into the known traveler number section when making airline reservations. For a list of participating airports and airlines and more information on the program, check out the link in our video description. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on around the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites at YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, Pinterest, and Instagram. Those links are in our video description. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week right here on the Core Report.